Dear Junior, 24 years ago when I had just graduated from Makerere University with my Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communication and Literature, I would have greatly benefited from an older, prolific critique sharing personal secrets of success drawn from their journey as a creative. In this letter, Junior, I share some such tips. Criticality sets you apart from all other producers of content. It is important to transcend beyond mere absorption and description of information and instead explore diverse ways of questioning. Question, question, question everything and anything. Question especially the power structure, institutions, ideas, individuals and communities that resist questioning by anyone. Question in order to make linkages between the mundane and the broader context, between the micro, the meso, and the macro, between the local and the global terrains. Question all the assumed universal truths in order to break them down into millions of related splinters, just as much as you question the fragments in order to connect them to the bigger universe of possible linkages. Question grand theories in order to make them relevant to everyday realities on the ground. Question taken for granted local wisdom in order to nuance it even among locals. Question, question, question. When creating critical content, go to the diverse, ignored masses of people and events around you. Go to the libraries to inform yourself about what bodies of knowledge already exist around the topic. Go to the archives of paper and electronic materials, the archives of the memories of grey-haired people, and in the unwritten archives in old buildings and old sections of the cities, towns, or villages. Go to alternative settings for comparative analysis. Go research for creative content in places others have not delved into before. Autonomy, independence, and self-sufficiency are, are mandatory, mandatory requirements for any creative critics of rigid hierarchical systems, setups, and outfits. And yet it is important to be doggedly resolute in one's commitment to continue creatively critiquing such repressive power structures. Growing my audience, readership, consumers, and those who actively seek for my creative critiques is important for me as a poet, an academic, an activist, and a politician. While I sometimes write for small specialized audiences with strict gatekeepers and firm boundaries, I also often write for the broad amorphous public. I do not limit the spaces in which I circulate my ideas. I compose and produce content for all available platforms and seasons. I write for payment and I write for free. I write on the walls of toilets and I write on buses. In these multiple ways of keeping several doors open, I have grown my audience. And so, Junior, the possibilities are vast. The internet has opened up a lot of doors. I wish you success in your journey as you create all this important material that is critical of power, that is critical of the status quo. And I believe in you, Junior. I totally believe in you. I believe that the world is waiting for your ideas to make a difference. I hope that my tips have a small bearing on your journey and look forward to hearing from you about every little step you take. Yours sincerely, Stella Nyanzi.